Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Web Design Quick Tips Podcast. My name is Justin Seeley, and I'll be your host. In this week's episode, we're going to be showing you how to get started with the Slideshow plugin from Plugin Buddy. So if I take a look at my WordPress dashboard down here in the left, I have Slideshow already installed, and as you can see, it comes in underneath a tab called Display Buddy because it's part of the Display Buddy series of plugins from Plugin Buddy. In this case, if I want to access Slideshow, I just click right on Slideshow and it automatically brings me to the slideshow settings. Now the first thing I need to do is create a new group. So in this case I'll call this main slideshow because this is going to go on the main homepage of my site. And I'm simply going to hit add group. Once I add the group it's going to show up here and I can edit the group. Now I have the ability to add images to my group. Then I'll add my first image. And I'm going to upload images. And I've got on my desktop some pictures of clouds. So I'll hit open. And I'll just upload all of them at once. There we go. And so now, if I hit show, I can select this image. So there's that one. Let's add another image. This time from the media library. And I'll go ahead and pick the second one. Add another image. Select this one. Add another image. And this time we'll go ahead and select this one. All right, so there are my four images. And I'll need to type in my height and width. And now let's go down to my slider mode. So in the slider mode, I want the transition to be just a simple fade. The horizontal alignment, keep that the center. Do I want to enable directional navigation on the images? That means do I want to see arrows on either side of the images when I hover over them or if I always want to see it I can turn that on as well let's just keep it yes and on hover show navigation I'm gonna turn that off pause on mouse hover yes shadows around slideshow yes caption opacity if there's a caption on the image itself how transparent is it in this case I'm gonna make it about 80 percent and then the animation speed let's slow this down it's about 700 milliseconds and pause between each line. Let's do that at about 7,000. And let's hit save settings. So now I've saved it and I want to put it into this layout right underneath my navigation bar. So I've created a layout inside of Builder that actually has a widget bar built in right underneath here. So if I want to insert it there, I simply go to the widget area of my WordPress dashboard right here, full width slideshow right at the top. And all I have to do is drag a slideshow widget right there. I'll select main slideshow from the list and click save. And if I go to my demo again and reload, there is my slideshow now in place. And if we wait a second, it'll transition into the next photo. And it'll keep going through all of the photographs that I set up. Now at any time I can go add photos to it, remove photos from it, and I can also change the photos, change the settings of the slideshow. For instance, let's go back and let's go down to slideshow. Let's edit that group again. And this time let's say that I want a random transition, so I'll just do random transitions. And I'm also going to speed it up, so let's speed it up to about 500 and speed this down to about 4,000. Hit save. And now if I go and refresh, there's my slideshow, but it should transition a lot faster than it did before. So it's not waiting quite as long. There's a random transition. As you can see, it's a little bit more snappy. So there you have it. How to quickly and easily get started with the slideshow plugin from Plugin Buddy. And that's it for this episode of the Web Design Quick Tips Podcast. 
If you have any questions or comments, you can post them on our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash webdesigncom. You can also find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash webdesigncom. And we're on Twitter. We're at webdesigncom. Thanks, everybody, for joining me for another episode of the Web Design Quick Tips podcast. My name is Justin Seeley, and I'll see you next week.